So I move out in two days. So I thought it would be a perfect time to do a room tour. Is this me procrastinating? Yes and no. I do need to pack up my stuff, but I wanted to like get a picture of everything before I tear it all down basically. A funny story about this dorm is that I did not live here last semester. When I first came to college, I was in the honors college, so I was in the honors college dorm. But me and the honors college didn't really vibe. I had good enough grades to stay in, but I just like didn't really want to. So I dropped out of the honors college, meaning I had to leave the honors college dorm. So I got this dorm room. I have a private room for disability, which is Amazing, I love having my own room. And today I'm gonna give you a little tour before I have to tear it all down. Okay, let's go. This is what my room looks like when you walk in. Here is my shoes. It's on a hello mat, you can't see it, but it's there. On my door, I made a sign that's like the one from Ted Lasso. I love it, I think it's really cute. I also have this magnet, which my friend gave me and another magnet that one of my other friends gave me. So I think it's really cute. A painting that my brother bought for me, which I love it. And then I have my cork board which I did those paintings there and painted those cassette tapes. I then just have stuff from pop culture stuff that I love. This is my guest bed. I had a comforter on it, but about a month ago I went home and I took the comforter then so that I would have less stuff when I move home this weekend. This is Eeyore. Eeyore wears a cowboy hat. This is Honeydew. I love Honeydew. This is Bama. Bama is a weighted elephant. Here's one closet. It used to be full, but I took all this stuff home last month. Here are two cross-stitch flowers that I made. I really like them. This is my main closet that has all my clothes and then my dresser. If we come back to the door, we have my windowsill. On my windowsill, I have lots of Funko Pops, random rocks from my geology class that I thought were pretty, and what used to be poor plants, but two of them died over spring break. Can't forget about my salt lamp. This is the desk where I do school. I have my laptop up on a box and then my keyboard, which I love. I think my keyboard's super, super cute. Here is my bed with my quilt that my mom made for me. I love it so much. It's honeycombs because I love bees. I have some Polaroid prints. I have some string lights that I turn on sometimes. Then we have my second desk, which I use to get ready and to eat at. Mini fridge and microwave that came with the dorm. My illegal toaster. This is my food cart. It usually has a lot more food, but I stopped buying food because it's the end of the semester. Got my Marvel poster. A mirror that I create is there 90% of the time. A funny story about this is that it's actually a TV media stand, but I put it in the bathroom and I think it works great. Bathroom things. I have more string lights around my bathroom. And then I have my bathroom. I have a private bath, which is super, super nice. It is really funny though, because I got this room through this ability, meaning they gave me the wheelchair accessible room. Other bathrooms in this hall do not look like this, but mine does because it's the wheelchair accessible room. <laughs> One of the biggest differences is that it has this very annoying sliding door. Fun fact, it doesn't close all the way and has no way to lock. I bought this really cute shower curtain when I moved in, which I love. The shower has an adapter that uh, doesn't work. I have no idea how it's supposed to work, but it doesn't. So yeah, that was my just riveting dorm tour. I absolutely love my dorm room. I love how it's decorated, it makes me happy. I love all my Funko Pops and random things. But yeah, it's uh, time to say goodbye to it, I guess. I'll have the same dorm room next semester though, so I will get to redecorate it and hopefully make it even cuter. But that's it for this video. Bye guys.